direction. The mindset um, came from just me wanting to be better than what I was before the day before. You know, it's a constant quest, constant uh, drive to to become the greatest, you know, that I can be and to inspire others to be the greatest that they can be. And that's very key to me because if you're not inspiring someone, what's the point of doing it? So my mindset is always to help others and to love others and to give to others. I, I love to give. I love to share the knowledge that I learn because I can't take all this with me. So if I, if I don't share to you how to become, you know, uh, a brand that you guys are supposed to be one day, you know, and I, I want to help. I want to be an assistance to someone and say, hey, he, looked, he took his time out and he gave us some, you know, game and gave us some knowledge on how to succeed and, you know, the vision boards. And uh, that's something I would love to do. And that's something I do every day. I try to inspire someone to be the best that they can be. And it's a constant quest. It's not just like a one day thing and like, oh, we're going to be good today. Or what about the next day? What about when you're tired? What about when your teammate is down? You know, yeah. you played basketball. Did you guys play basketball or play sports? Sports. Sports are big. I think sports. What sports did you play? Years. So it's not like a, it's like a fancy sport. So I've just ridden horses my whole life, but it's taught me something I wore. I, for me, I say it's taught me to have grit and resilience because I've fallen so many times jumping. I've fallen into the jump. Like, and you, you get back on. Like, there's no getting off. You only do not get back on unless you are a broken bone or like to that extent, yeah. like you need stitches. Otherwise you're, so I think in life, anytime I had a setback, I was like, all right, you see, stay yeah. down a second and you get back up. And I, right. I did dance. You? So dance is okay. a different type of sport. Dancing. I did dance and it's a different Ooh. type of sport, but <laughs> if you're performing in the fall, you definitely have to get back up and keep moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when you're, you know, I have a question. on stage, just, Keep it going, right? I got a question. Did you have teammates? Yeah. Did you have teammates? No. Okay. Mm -mm, no. Not with Ryan. Okay. But if you, you know, I have to change it. I have to rephrase no, that. Sorry. Yes. I, because really, technically, your horse is your teammate. And it's, it's mo almost more difficult because you have to rely on body language. And I have to say so much with the breath. Like, you get so in tune with the animal and you could foresee things happening. Like I could almost tell before my horse was going to stop because I could tell the erratic feeling within his child. Animals his have different, right. use so different was, senses. It's right. the energy and the intuition. Which is another gift I think I've gotten because I think even with people, I've been able to read energy without having to have, that's not it's not energy, but it's body language. Yeah. Without even having to have a conversation. You can pick up on when someone's nervous or... You know, when you can feel the tension. Yeah, crap. Exactly. That's what yeah. I'm trying to say. When you play basketball, a lot of people think that passing the ball, you know, to a teammate is how you make someone better. It's really how you make that player better each and every day when he's down or when he's up or if his energy is down or if someone's having a bad day or you need to inspire him to chase his goals as well <laughs> within the team concept. And when you are doing that with the horse and you being in sync with the horse, you're – it's just still a team. You still got to go and chase you the You got to be in alignment. Yes. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, playing basketball allowed me to um, – to it's, it's much more than just passing the ball to someone, you know, and just say, hey, make the shot. You know, how do I get that teammate to wake up each and every day driven? And now uh, that's yeah. something mm, – I love that's that. Something, and that's something I, I had to, like, learn is, like, when I make my products and when we make products, I want to make it with a purpose, make it with intention, make it with a uh, – a focus that is going to change the world. Like I'm not just putting some out just to put some out. Uh, no, I really have an intention that is going to change the world in some aspect. And that's why I, I create everything I create. I just don't throw some on there and be like, hey, let's see if this works. You know, with the water, a lot of people just thought that I just did it. Um, you know, just did it. I, it took four or five years to do it. You know, and it yes. took a lot of patience. And it took a lot of time. It took a lot of manifesting. It took manifesting the right partners and. You know, even Patience. your vision board. I cut out. I have two vision boards from you guys. I cut another one out, and it's hanging up on my wall, and it has water. And that that's that that's a test to you guys because you guys helped me reach my goals as well by seeing it every single day in my life. So that's something that I got to give you guys credit for and for your business and brand because it's not all about you guys do it a different way. You guys are you know ladylike. You guys are queens. You guys are moms. You guys are you know business ladies and CEOs and all that. 
And for you guys to create something that's visually, you know, you can see visually, it's a much different way of doing it. It's more purpose. It's more. You might make Liz cry. Sometimes. I know I am. Every time I she gets very serious. <laughs> but you want to know what? I have to say, he said so many words that was so important. And the first word that you said to me that is like the number one thing for manifesting is love for anything. So when you're doing something out of that place of love, love for yourself, love for other people, it just comes back. It's you're on a vibration of love. Yeah. So that's almost like the biggest piece. Yeah. To and, I was, and I was going to say too, that when you have that picture of Kobe Bryant, like I'm sure the emotion that it brings you just viewing it, you feel that love, you feel that yeah. inspiration, you feel what a great person as a whole he was, like just that emotion that it brings to you viewing that, that image. And I don't think people realize how powerful images can be. Um, and that's why we try to promote that because the vision board is like your roadmap to whatever it is that you see for yourself. Um, you know, sometimes I say it's the marketing plan for your life. Yeah. It is those images are very important. So so that's why we say the board is so important because some people are so good and they can make that visualization in your head. Like she's been practicing visualizations for like a health issue. I've been just doing visualizations in my mind for like a personal issue. But some people aren't able to do that. So when you see that picture, it kind of like creates excitement. And that's what drives you further and keeps you on that same vibrational path because I'm sure some days you either have an experience or something happens and it's normal to shift down but it's like how quickly do you get back up on that plane exactly I mean, that's what you guys do you know a lot of people like I said don't understand or you know they don't comprehend what you guys are doing because it's not a, a normal thing it's something that you guys are doing from love and through a purpose and sometimes people don't understand that and I'm sure you guys have people that don't understand what it is or why you're doing it. Why they Trust laugh me. at us. Trust me, I get it. I get it too. So we, I get it too. But we all get it in some way, you know. So I'm just saying, like, keep going and keep doing it and keep inspiring people because everything on this board. I want to see know? it. Please show us the board and just tell us a little bit about it. Oh, look at it. I love it. All the pictures. Okay. I know, me too. This is, this is, okay, this here's is my goal right here. Coming in. The power of now. Staying in the now. Staying in the present. You see that? Say, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now I love that. <gasps> oh, there's my Oprah. And then, then I have the rock because I'm an actor, you know, and you know I like to be, you know, I want to be somewhere where he is and is like, you know, some type of actor like that. Not only and that, I his name. If you think about it, the rock. Like for some, when I look at you and I think of you, I think of you as a rock. Like you've been so consistent as long as we've known you. Like you haven't wavered. No, I'm not. Just that, that's a that's a key. Like, no. <laughs> I'm not no because listen, like um, I'm not saying listen, like saying I'm like right. This is right. I just know what I want, and I want to inspire people. So whether that is selling water or pushing the water or giving back to the community or uh, sweeping floors like a custodian, whatever I need to do to inspire someone to be great, that's what I'm going to do. And these images all reflect right, that. You're an example. And all the all the stuff you gave me reflect that. Like, and then one of these things right here says, "Muse, let there be light." A key, Kobe Bryant right here. You know, like, stay focused. You know, everything that you. It guys raises said. my vibrations just looking at it. Like when you see those images, like to me, like I've gotten such a love for magazines. Like I've never looked at them and appreciated them the way I have now. Like I'll look at an image, and it's like, ooh, like I almost have to like take a breath. Yeah. And that, that's that's what I'm saying. That's a gift, you know. What I mean, people don't understand that. That's a gift that you that you guys both have, and that you have to see you right. how to send things to someone. Like everyone doesn't have the same personality as me and you. You know, everybody has a different you know approach. So for you to even pick it out, that's even a great talent in itself. So now, do you? Let me ask you a question. Do you? How often do you look at it? Like we say to our clients, like you should really start your morning off. That's why we say either keep it by your bed or keep it in your office. Like it's something that you should spend like two to three minutes in the morning and then two to three minutes at night. Well, uh, I'm out of town a lot. So I used to bring this in the car with me when I'm on the road. Or take and a picture and put it in your screensaver. That's, that's what I was about to say. I'm like, I need to take a picture of it. But I usually bring it in the car with me wherever I go. So it travels with me. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because and I it keep it in the office, you. Too. It's you. Like, there's, 
Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, wow. wow. So have, has anybody asked you about it? Do people of see it hang out? I mean, not a lot of people come in my office, you know, but some of my friends and people I do business with come back and like, oh, okay. So you're inspired by Kobe. That's the first thing they see. <laughs> Kobe Bryant, I know. know I mean? Kobe was the first thing I saw too, though. But you know yeah. what? I have to say, it's very interesting because when you think about it, even before he passed, he had such a big energy that when you saw him and you saw a picture of it, it was already very powerful to begin with. And I feel like since his past, it's even more. But he had he had the it. You know yeah, we talk he, about he it. Compass that, that. Yeah. Tell you he had him? energy. Listen, before he died, for like this is like prior months. You know that's my favorite basketball player. That's my my favorite person of all time. Before he died, a few weeks and a few months before. I was telling people how great he was. I'm like, I don't think you guys realize how great Kobe Bryant really was or is or as a person. People don't see, like, I maybe I see something different or I view things differently on a different level, but I see a different Kobe Bryant when I look at him. And I was trying to tell people that, like, months before, I was showing people his whole, his old,